صحیح البخاری 2911 narrated sahab رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ that he was asked about the wound of the prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم on the day of the battle of uhud he said the face of the prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم as wounded and one of his front teeth as broken and the helmet over his head was smashed fatma رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ washed of the blood why ali رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ held water when she saw that bleeding was increasing continually she burnt a mat of dead palm leaves till it turned into ashes which she put over the wound and thus the bleeding cased sahih al bukhari 2912 narrated amr bin al aharis رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ the prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم did not leave behind him after his death anything except his arms his white mole and a piece of land at khaber which he left to be given in charity sahi al bukhari 2913 narrated jabar razi allah taala anhu as above hadith number 158 narrated jabar bin abdullah razi allah taala anhu that he participated in ghizwa holy battle in the company of allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam midday came upon them while they were in the valley having many thorny trees the people dispersed to rest in the shed of the trees the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam rested under a tree hung his sword on it and then slept then he woke up to find near to him a man whose presence he had not noticed before the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said this man took my sword out of its scabbard and said who will save you from me i replied allah subhanahu wa taala so he put the sword back into its scabbard and you see him sitting here anyhow the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not punish him see hadith number 158 like and subscribe my channel for more hadith videos allah bless you allah hafiz